In this video, we take a very broad, simple and top level introduction to the role of the central processing unit. So in this series of videos, we're going to be looking at the CPU in quite a bit of detail. But it's important before we dive in just to step back and from a high level consider, well, what is the overall of a CPU and a computing device as a whole? Well, we can say it is simply an electronic device that takes input, processes that data, and then delivers an output. And of course, this can take many forms. The input could come from the keyboard. The user could be entering the number five as part of the calculation. The process carried out by the CPU could then be to perform that calculation as part of a calculator app on, say, a phone or a laptop. And then it would provide the output to go to maybe a mobile phone screen or a desktop monitor. But of course, the ranges of things that a CPU can do are absolutely vast. But essentially, it all follows roughly the same format. Here we're taking input in the form of a games console controller. The CPU of the console then processes this information, the player movements, what's happening on screen. And then outputs this information in the form of audio and visual feedback to the person playing the game. You can essentially think of the CPU a bit like the brain of a computer, and it's an analogy which is often used. It is central to all modern computer systems, including desktop PCs, laptops, consoles, tablets, smartphones, and much, much more. Now, as with many areas of computer science, there are different forms of terminology which can mean very similar things. The CPU itself is often referred to as a microprocessor, a processor, a chip multiprocessor, just to name a few. Now, although we could get technical and there are arguments that can be made for defining these terms in different ways, for your exam and for simplicity, you should think of the terms of a CPU and microprocessor as being interchangeable. Essentially, CPUs and microprocessors these days are typically installed as integrated circuits on a single physical microchip. So just to summarize, a CPU takes in data and instructions, processes them and produces output. For your benefit, the term CPU and microprocessor can essentially mean the same thing. And in reality, these are typically installed as integrated circuits on a single microchip. The rest of this video in this series will now go into a lot more detail about the core components of a CPU and how it actually works. Mm -hmm.